Hello, welcome to this series of high voltage tutorials. My name is Mike Doherty, President and CEO of MCO High Voltage Corporation. I hope you find this information useful and I thank you for your interest. Today we're going to talk about the impact of source resistance on MCO high voltage converters. My name is Joe Huang and I'm a design engineer here at MCO High Voltage. When a designer is applying a high voltage converter in his um, work, the attention is naturally paid to the high voltage side because that's where the critical operation is. However, the low voltage connection is also very important to ensure that uh, you have reliable as well as efficient operation. The MCO uh, converter topology is shown here uh, with an oscillator, a transformer, a rectifier on the output side, as well as capacitors in both the input and output. We show here also a current waveform from an actual A series sample uh, with no source resistance. And the important thing to note about this is that the input current waveform is quite distinctive. You can clearly see how the converter operates by looking at this current waveform. The current waveform changes significantly when the source resistance is measurable. In this case, this is 10 ohms. And the waveform here is much less distinctive than the prior waveform. And in fact, it's hard to see when the converter itself is drawing current from the external supply in this waveform. So the first thing to note is that because of the source resistance, there's an efficiency impact on the uh, converter operation. Here the data shows that for the same output voltage and power delivered, we are supplying a lot more voltage from the source to do that. And that may be obvious and natural because after all, you're actually dissipating power in the source resistance. In this case, with the same sample, with a source resistance of 10 ohms, we lose about 10% in efficiency. In addition to efficiency, there's a reliable impact of source resistance on the operation of the converter. Uh, MCO converters contain input decoupling capacitors, as we saw earlier in the block diagram. Now these capacitors are required to support transient currents that are inherent in the operation of the oscillator transformer combination. Now the interesting thing here is that the RS, or the source resistance, increases the oscillator frequency component of that current. And what that leads to is stress on that input capacitor because the input capacitor has kilohertz range RMS frequency uh, limits, RMS current limits. You can mitigate this uh, stress by putting an external decoupling capacitor at the converter input pins. Uh, and ideally, you would put in a very low ESR or equivalent series resistance, equivalent series resistance capacitor to maximize the effectiveness. So in summary, source resistance reduces converter efficiency, it stresses converter internal decoupling capacitor and potentially reducing the long-term reliability, but the designer can mitigate the impact of that by placing external low ESR capacitors right at the input pin. So thank you very much.